Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to a Warframe video here on the channel. Now, it goes without saying, spoilers lie ahead. So, what we're doing today is Operation Gargoyles Cry. Now this is the new operation, completely new. And it is only available to those who have completed Whispers in the Walls, which is only available to those who have completed Heart of Deimos and the New War. So, pretty much those that are the end of the game. Now, Fibonacci has messaged us, saying your attention please, the murmur threat demands immediate action, our first order of business must be surveillance, an early detection system lest we be caught sans trousers. You'd agree that a Yahoo gargoyle installed within each Tenno dojo is the obvious solution. Not a whisper could be uttered in the system without the connected dojos overhearing it first. Your compliance is appreciated, the Yahoo Gargoyle awaits you within your dojo, simply place it as a decoration. The enemy does not hesitate. We must do no less. So, I'm going to pop over to my, uh, my own clan's dojo, which is uh, the Nightingales of Lua. Um, we're going to pop over to this dojo. We're going to find this gargoyle, so we'll be back in a moment. So here we are in the dojo. This is your gargoyle. Um, if you've not got it placed in your dojo, you need to place it as a decoration and then you can interact with it for the lovely, me? lovely <clears throat> event. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on the laying of this, the foundation stone of a future both stable and secure. Your dojo may now connect with others to form a mighty bastion against the murmurs, okay. nullifying, and relentless expansion. What? A miscalculation, surely. Uh, <laughs> new plan. The gargoyle must be recalibrated discreetly, as it would appear that already something is <laughs> attempting ingress. Oh, I only okay. calibrated for egress. Why did I only calibrate for egress? <clears throat> to the labs! To a furlough! Like, now! Quickly! To a furlough! Uh, calm heads, everyone! Uh, calm heads! So, Efervo is where you have to go for Operation Gargoyles Cry. So, if you have a look at this Jahu Gargoyle, then you can contribute, which requires you to contribute curses of knowing, seeing, and hearing, which we will come on to in a minute, that you get those from actually playing during Operation Gargoyles Cry, and you can also browse wares where you can use the grotesque splinters that you will win to purchase the, um, arcanes, um, uh, some transformers, some sketch glyphs, some skins, color schemes, sigils, and even two weapons. But the key thing that we want is the Krios Signa. Uh, which is locked. I can't quite remember how you unlock it. I think it's partially by contributing. So, whoa. You should invite some friends to explore this we should definitely get built. going with that. Based on so, pressure, was it? we leave the dojo, and what we need to do is go straight to FFO. Operation Gargoyles Cry, F of O. Defeat fragmented ones to collect curses and feed them to the Vigil uh, Jahu Gargoyle in your clan dojo. This is a four week long event, meaning it did start yesterday on the 18th, so I unfortunately was not able to play it on the 18th, but it will end on Monday the 15th of January. So you have got a couple of weeks after New Year as well, if you are unable to in obviously the Christmas period. But 
Let's read it a little bit more detailed. The murmur continues to scrape deeper into our realm of existence. Having devised a solution to defeat such whispers, Fibonacci won't allow such trespassing to threaten our system. This operation relies on Tenno across the Origin system to construct an invisible living defense against the growing murmur threat. Players must have completed the Whispers in the Walls quest to participate. To play, you must simply have your um, dojo's gargoyle built. Play FFO on Deimos to earn Operation Rewards. You will get curses depending on which fragmented one you kill. Um, you must also defeat the Void Angel in that mission as well. That's right, there are Void Angels at this precise moment. You earn one curse per normal path mission, or double for steel path. Successfully defeating the assassination target also gives you those grotesque splinters, which allows you to buy whatever you personally want. You then return to the dojo and feed your curses to it every week to contribute to a clan trophy. Um, visiting the gargoyle to exchange your grotesque splinters will also give you your operation rewards. So. First thing you'll notice is F of O. It is the Mama assassination in the laboratories. Now, obviously, this node is only available to those that have completed uh, the um, Whispers in the Walls quest. And it is a new node connected directly to the Sanctum Anatomica. Um, you can load in. There's going to be dozens upon dozens of squads doing this mission at the moment. As you can see, I'm loading in, and before I even load in, we already have a health bar. So... So once we load in... Straight away, I can already see that we have... Uh, Killed the Void Angel as well. You must become curse bearer for my error to be rectified. So obviously those of you that haven't completed Whispers in the Walls, if you want to participate in this event, then you probably want to get that quest over and done with soon, because um, otherwise you aren't going to be able to play this event, and this event could give some nice rewards that you might particularly want, such as the Basmu, such as the Seti Lacera, such as those Glyphs, uh, those Sigils, and the Colour Palette in particular. So, hopefully... Hopefully I'm not heading all the way over here for no reason. Man in the wall blocked me in, you know. I don't know how to feel about that. Whoa. Sorry about that glitch out there. Extract and we'll do one more run through just to see how quickly and easily they are. Oh, we even got a nice melee arcane for that. So we got a curse of hearing from that one, from that run through. 
I can't even remember which ones it was that uh, my dojo needs at the moment. Remember when you used to need your operator to go through this door and into this back room? <laughs> no more. Papa? Does Papa have a plan? All right, have we loaded in to the mission? I love being trapped in purgatory. <sighs> if only it would let us in. This is odd, I've never seen it do this before. Have I completely been soft locked? Quite possibly. Alright, we'll try and fix this then. Oh, it seems that the game had slightly broken. My design is flawed! Ha! The gargoyle in your dojo has a blind spot. Fail the angel, silence the murmur, and then I may yet uh, adjust for this oversight. Oh my god. This is one of the creepy places. So yeah, for those of you that don't quite know how this assassination works, before you can find the assassination target, and by the assassination target I mean the actual um, fragmented, not Void Angel, 
But for you to be able to find the, uh, what's it called, the fragmented, you have to complete the uh, vitriums. So using the vitriums, you've got to collect these different murmur eyes and there's 30 that you're going to find. Interesting. Acquire a fresh probe to do. The vitrium awaits. Administer the serum. Do not allow the vision to be interrupted by anything. And don't talk to it, even if you say so, yes. One thing you will notice then is we did get a void plume pinion for actually taking on the angel and you can have multiple vitriums working at the same time if you have enough atropos probes. But just make sure you collect all the eyes because that's what will get you through this. Oh, we was about to get given so many. Uh, uh, this vitrium's torminty visions have undoubtedly helped. But so onwards we go complete. to the next. Repeat the process. Vitriums. Where hopefully we might be able to find the last 12 eyes we need. The hand of violence conceals the eye of indifference. Destroy it. Seize what lies within. What is nice about these missions is the fact that um, the Vitriums don't seem capable of dying. And so, therefore... You can do what we're doing here and just farm up a vast collection. So now that we've collected all the eyes that we need, this is where you do the actual assassination mission. So this is sort of where we spawned in in the last mission. Um, as you can see, it's not actually taken a massive amount of time to do. Um, but all in all, what you got to do, track down your, your 30 or however many eyes you need, then take out the rising tide. Uh, fragmented tide even um, you defeat the fragmented tide and then you can face the fragmented one and don't forget as well most important part of all yeah 
you have to do this mission multiple times to get your different curses based on which fragmented one you face. Then once you defeat it, collect all your loot before you extract the boss. So that one gave us a curse of seeing because it was the fragmented anchorite. So it does depend on which cursed one, uh, fragmented one you face, that determines which curse you receive. So, as you can see as well, we did get a nice little relic from that. All in all, it's not going to be a massively difficult operation. It's just a bit of fun. And some nice rewards for it. So, I've shown you how to do it, where to go, what to do, and who to kill. So, I hope that, as always, guys, you found this video informative, enjoyable, and fun to watch. And I'll see you all in the next one.